In this presentation, we will discuss some concepts of indentation in Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Following are the topics which we will discuss in this presentation. The first topic is basics of indentation. The second topic is working of indentation. The third topic is rules for indentation. Let's discuss the basics of indentation first. Let's first try to understand the meaning of indentation. Indentation is the leading white space before any statement in Python. So, indentation is the leading white space. When I say white space, I mean a tab or either a space entered through your keyboard. So, indentation is the leading white space before any statement in Python. Now we know what is the meaning of indentation. We need to see some purposes of indentation as well. There are two purposes of indentation in Python. The first purpose of indentation is it improves readability. Not only in Python but in other programming languages also, indentation improves readability. But what makes Python different from other programming languages is that indentation also helps in indicating a block of code in Python. Why Python is different from many other programming languages is because of this feature. Indentation not only improves readability in Python, but it also helps in indicating a block of code in Python. Now let's see what do I mean by this. What is the meaning of indentation helps in indicating a block of code? For this we need to consider a C programming language example and we will compare that example with a similar Python programming example. In this way we will understand what it means that indentation helps in indicating a block of code. Let's see one C programming example. Let's say we have the C program where name is equal to Sam and we are checking this condition. If name is equal to Sam, then print hello Sam. This statement is part of this if statement because this statement is written within these curly braces. So curly braces in C programming language plays an important role in indicating a block of code. As through these curly braces, we are indicating that this statement is part of this if statement. Although indentation is also added, but indentation doesn't help in indicating a block of code in C programming language. We need to add these curly braces. So, indentation here just improves the readability, not indicating a block of code. This printf statement is part of this if statement because we have added these curly braces. Also in C programming language, if we won't include these curly braces, then this statement automatically becomes part of this if statement. Remember that indentation just improves readability in C programming language. On the other hand, if we consider a similar program in Python, then here indentation plays an important role not only in improving the readability of the program, but it also helps in indicating a block of code. So, this line is part of this if statement because indentation is added before this statement. So, we know that name is equal to Sam and if name is equal to Sam, then hello Sam will get printed. So, indentation not only plays an important role in improving the readability of Python program, but it also helps in indicating a block of code. It actually replaces the curly braces. So now you know why indentation is so important in Python and why it makes Python different from other programming languages. As we know the basics of indentation now, let's see what is the working of indentation, how indentation works. In order to understand the working of indentation, we need to consider one Python program without indentation and we will consider the same program with indentation. Let's see the Python program without indentation. Here we have a Python program without indentation. We have name equal to Sam, which means that name variable is pointing to the string Sam and we are checking this condition. 
if name is equal to Sam, then print hello Sam. Otherwise or else print hello dude, how are you? Although this program is invalid because indentation plays a very important role in Python. We need to add indentation after if statement and after else statement. At least one statement must be indented. So this statement and this statement must be indented. This code is invalid but let's say that this code is valid for the sake of understanding. When a beginner sees this code, it starts reading from the first line. Name is equal to Sam. If name is equal to Sam, then print hello Sam. Otherwise, print hello dude, how are you? For that person, these two statements seem part of else construct. But maybe the programmer doesn't want this kind of a behavior. If let's say we have 100 lines of code after this line, and if those statements are written without indentation, then it seems like all those statements are part of else statement. But this should not be the case in real world applications. We may want this statement to be part of this else statement, but we may don't want this statement to be part of this statement. In that case, indentation plays a very important role. Remember that this is not a problem in C programming language. Because in C programming language, we indicate a block of code through curly braces. We are not using indentation to indicate a block of code in C programming language. If we want to indicate that this statement is part of this else statement, we can add a curly brace after this else and put a closing curly brace after this print statement. That will surely indicate that this statement is part of this else statement. That's the only thing we needed. But in Python programming language, indentation plays a very important role. Indentation helps in indicating a block of code. This Python program is written without indentation and it is quite misleading as well. If we want this behavior, that this print statement must be part of this else statement and this print statement must not be part of this else statement, then we need to rewrite this code in this way. Now with indentation, not only this program is more readable, but we are also clear with this fact that this statement is part of this if statement and this print statement is part of this else statement. On the other hand, this print statement is not part of either if statement or else statement. So, this program is more readable and this is the correct and valid Python program as well. Now if we read this code again, then we need to say this, if name is equal to Sam, then print hello Sam, otherwise print hello dude. But this statement must be printed no matter what. This means that if name is equal to Sam, then hello Sam must be printed, after this how are you must be printed. Otherwise, hello dude must be printed and then how are you must be printed because this print statement is not part of either if statement or else statement. Now I hope this concept is clear to you and how indentation works in Python must also be clear to you. This means we are done with working of indentation and now we are ready to understand some rules for indentation. Following are the rules of indentation. The first rule is Minimum one space is necessary to represent an indented statement. It is mandatory to represent an indented statement with at least single space. It is not the case that you need to add four spaces every time to represent an indented statement. An indented statement could be represented with just one space also. So it is totally up to you. You can choose one space to indicate an indented statement or you may choose a tab or four spaces to indicate an indented statement. Rule number two says that the first line of Python code cannot have indentation. According to rule number two, the first line of every Python program must not have an indentation. Rule number three says indentation is mandatory to define a block of code. So if we want to define a block of code in Python, we need to add indentation. 
and rule number 4 says that the number of space must be uniform so if you are using one space to represent an indented statement then you need to follow that if let's say you are using a tab to represent an indented statement then you need to follow that so maybe one space or four spaces maybe three spaces it is up to you the number of spaces doesn't matter but it should be uniform although you don't have to worry about indentation a lot because we are using visual studio code to write our programs in python and visual studio code has this inbuilt facility to add indentation for us for example if we write an if statement in visual studio code and if we press enter after that if statement you will observe that automatically indentation is added by visual studio code so visual studio code provides us the facility of automatic indentation we don't have to worry much about indentation when we write code in visual studio code so that's a big relief now we know all the rules for indentation this means that we are done with these topics we have completed the basics of indentation we have learned the working of indentation and we have seen some rules for indentation okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation